I never thought this day would come. It always felt like it was a month or two away or two weeks to go, but Tesla has finally done it. And honestly, the price is pretty dang good. It's somewhat spot on to what a lot of us were predicting it was going to be. The full self-driving subscription now starts at $199 with no cents attached, by the way, which I think is pretty competitive if you look at that as the alternative to spending $10,000 up front, which is a bit more difficult to swing, especially when people are already trying to swing a lot buying a 40 50 60 thousand dollar car being able to slap another ten thousand dollar software package on there kind of makes it difficult for a lot of people so there's lots of things i was excited for with this subscription we've been speculating on it for it seems like a year now but the biggest game changer for me is not necessarily the price of the full self-driving subscription but it's actually the contract which tesla is saying it's month to month meaning you can cancel this anytime a big concern of mine with the full self-driving subscription was that it would lock you into a certain amount of time subscribed and of course Tesla could change their mind if people end up using this subscription a specific way but the use case I envisioned a lot was people paying for the full self-driving subscription two or three months out of the year where they felt like they were going to be driving a lot going on road trips going in cities where they're not comfortable with driving and want something that's a little bit better than average autopilot so now you can pick and choose when you want all of those full self-driving features, but you don't have to commit to the giant $10,000 up front, which I think a lot of people weren't going to be willing to shill out the money for, especially when they didn't really even have a chance to try out these features. Now, if someone is skeptical and wants to simply try out full self-driving to see what these features are going to allow for, they can basically have a $200 30-day trial, which I get is still pretty expensive, but again, substantially cheaper than having to pay for the whole package outright and I could see this being very practical for people who plan on buying several Teslas over time you know there's a lot of people I've seen that have bought model S's or 3's or Y's but they plan on replacing them down the road with another Tesla that'll come out whether it's a plaid model S or once Cybertruck comes out so there's tons of people that are planning on holding on to vehicles for two or three years maybe three and a half years and spending ten thousand dollars on that car and knowing you cannot transfer full self-driving to another vehicle vehicle is just not financially going to make a ton of sense for people so having a $200 subscription option allows them to actually save money in the long run if they do want those full self-driving features but they plan on replacing the car in two to three years that will ultimately save them a lot more money in case you are curious of the math on this the break even point for the subscription where it would no longer make sense for you to pay for it monthly is a little bit after the four year mark so if you're planning on owning a vehicle for longer than four years, which I'd say the majority of people do, that's when paying for full self-driving outright for $10,000 would actually start to make more financial sense. So I think this is a decent price point because it does not completely kill the purpose of buying FSD all up front. If someone wants to do that, it's still probably the better option if you see yourself keeping your Tesla for more than five years. And for those curious before, if you had an older Tesla and you bought the full self-driving package, you would actually get the full self-driving computer Tesla developed for free via retrofit whereas now if you have an older Tesla and you don't have the full self-driving computer you're gonna have to spend $1,500 on that retrofit to be qualified for the $200 a month subscription so I'm sad to say if you have hardware 2.5 or earlier this is definitely going to be a bit more pricey for you and I could see it not being worth it to that demographic because they have to front a lot of money and they're gonna be paying $200 a month for something that doesn't really stick with the car if you decide to stop paying for that at any time all those features are just gonna go away but if you were around when Tesla offered the enhanced autopilot package and many people did buy that then the subscription is actually $99 a month so half the price then again there's not really much different from full self-driving and enhanced autopilot in its current form so I don't know why someone would be subscribing to that for a hundred bucks a month but I think the differences will become more noticeable as the beta 9 software makes its way into more vehicles which by the way the full self-driving subscription is not rolling out the beta features so if you subscribe to full self-driving for 200 bucks a month that doesn't mean you get the turning on city streets you don't get the updated visualizations that is still restricted to the limited beta what today's announcement is mainly about is allowing a cheaper and more flexible alternative to people who are unwilling to drop ten thousand dollars on a software package which i think there's quite a few of present company 
me included. I could see myself subscribing to it two or three times a year when I'm taking a big road trip, but the rest of the year when I'm just kind of driving around town and I don't really need those self-driving features, yeah, I'll cancel the subscription and only end up spending 500 to 600 bucks a year, and then it would actually take more like 10 years for buying it outright to genuinely be worth it, and in 10 years you could put that money into stocks and probably grow a lot more than the price of full self-driving may grow or the appreciation of your Tesla, which depending on your belief on robo-taxis may be a lot or maybe not so much, who knows, but either way, I am really glad Tesla finally offered this. I think that it's going to help their financials quite a bit to make it more accessible to more people and for those who plan on replacing their car more regularly or just occasionally using full self-driving, this is going to be an absolute godsend and Tesla will have quite a big uptick in services revenue to report and I can't wait to hear more about it on this month's earnings call. Feel free to let me know what you guys think of the subscription. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have an excellent rest of your day. Take care.